So on Friday night, second game of the NFL season, Eagles Packers. The Packers, I thought I, I view both of these teams as Super Bowl contenders. Of course, um, they kind of had very different seasons last year. Packers started very slow, finished hot, won a playoff game. Eagles started off ten and one, then lost five of their last six, lost their playoff game. So the Packers hoping to continue their momentum. The Eagles hoping to regain some momentum in Brazil. First off, can I just say, I don't think the NFL should go back to Brazil, at least not for a while. The game, the, the, the game did not feel hype at all. The field looked bad, um, and it was bad. I mean, there's guys getting hurt. Jordan Love got hurt. Hopefully he's okay. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But not even great attendance. Um, the production wasn't great. I don't know. I, I was not a fan of the whole thing. Um, I do, I'm okay with doing a Friday night football game every so often. I'm okay with it. Although, I, again, I, I really do think that you should try to keep it to Thursday, Sunday, Monday, um, and holidays. I would prefer that. But, but I mean, yeah, you know, as far as Friday games, sure, go ahead, do a Friday game every so often. I'm fine with it. But And, again, I'm fine with doing international games, too. Do go to London, Germany, Mexico City, I understand. But, but I don't think there's a big enough fan base in Brazil. So I, I don't think they should do this again uh, next year. I, I don't think they will. The NFL is very smart about stuff like that. As far as the actual game goes, we saw two good offenses, but we saw a lot of sloppiness. And look, the Eagles, I mean, Jalen Hurts, is it's baked into the cake with him. Jalen Hurts is a great quarterback. I, I think he is one of the top five most talented players in the league. I think he is just as talented of a player as Lamar. I think he is just as talented as a player, as a guy like, um, as Jordan Love. I mean, I don't think he's as talented as Mahomes and Josh Allen, but nobody is. So I think Jalen Hurts is right there. Um, he's really good. He throws a good football. He can run. Um, but again, Hurts has a little bit of a Josh Allen thing where he needs to limit the turnovers. And that was his big problem last year. And again, it looks like I mean, he, he threw two picks and he fumbled and he fumbled again and, he, and they recovered the second one. So he could have turned the ball over four times. That's not good. I mean, you you have to. I mean, you, you see the throws. He's making throws. He's running around the field. He's almost like, well, he's like Josh Allen light mode. Um, Honestly, he's Carson Wentz. He's like a different, He he's not exactly the same player as Carson Wentz, but he's similar. He's strong. He's big, strong, strong arm. He can run. He can run better than Carson Wentz, but they similar to Carson Wentz, they both have a turnover problem. And the Eagles cast Carson Wentz aside because of the turnover problem and look what happened to him he's a backup now he's not even a starter he's backing up Patrick Mahomes and I don't think he had any options to be a starter like it's not like you know Wentz could have started for a lot of teams but he's instead like choosing to back up Mahomes Wentz probably isn't starting in any team in the NFL right now maybe the maybe the Patriots but they like Brissett. Um, maybe, you know, maybe the Packers could trade for Carson Wentz. But the, my, my point is, Hurts, is, for as talented as he is, and I do think Jalen Hurts is better than Carson Wentz, but they both have the same Achilles heel, which is fumbles and turnovers, and they happen for both of them at bad times. Um, also, the tush push might not work this year. Without Jason Kelsey, they did not look good doing the tush push. I think they only tried it once or twice. So, I mean, it speaks to how good Jason Kelsey is. It also speaks to just the nature of the game. I mean, it's it's tough to win games in the NFL, but when you don't have that Hall of Fame level center, yeah, things are going to change. And I think even I may have overlooked that. I had the I picked the Eagles to win 12 games this year. I'm glad they won. I'm happy about it. I think that that proves that despite their shortcomings, they are a resilient team. They're a good team. And I do think they're fairly well coached as Sirianni has some problems, but I do think that they are well coached. Um, uh, but I will say this. I, I think that for the Packers, the injury to Jordan Love worries me. It worries me for two reasons. Number one, their schedule going forward is not great in the short term. So in the short term, I'm going to pull up their schedule. In the short term, what do they have? Who do they have to play? 
Well, maybe I'm not going to pull up their schedule because it's not uh, lo- not loading. In the short term, who do they have to play? I know they have to play the Colts. I think they play the Colts next week. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have to. Oh, here we go. Packers schedule. What do they get? Right now, going into the season, I had them 11 and six, but I also had them beating the Eagles. I was wrong about that. that this was one of the five games I was wrong about. So turn this into a loss. Turn this Eagles game into a loss. I think they lose to the Colts. Malik Willis, I mean, they are saying that Love's not going to go on the IR. I think they lose to the Colts. And now all of a sudden they're 9-8. and eight. And that also helps the Colts out. Look at what that does to the Colts playoff chances. You see right here. The Colts now 10-7, and seven, according to my predictions. If they lose, they'd be finishing 9-8 and eight out of the playoffs. With a win, they go into the playoffs, and look who's out of it. Baltimore. So I guess my official prediction is now that the Colts will be a playoff team and the Ravens will not. Um, And uh, other than that, I mean, I could see a scenario, too, where Green Bay loses to the Rams. I think it's dependent on Jordan Love's health. But I could, I could honestly give that win to the Rams, and then look what happens to Green Bay on the other side of the, of the playoff chances. If they lose to the Rams, they fall to 8-9 and nine on the season, according to my predictions, and they would be out of the playoffs, and the Bears would be in. I'm going to go with this tentatively. Now, could Jordan Love make it come back week 4, week 5? I would say this. If, if Jordan Love comes back for Sunday at Los Angeles, they will, I think they lose. If that's his first game back. Now, if, the, if he plays against Minnesota and he beats Minnesota, then I think they can beat the Rams too. But if that's his first game back, let's say Malik Willis starts three games. He, beat, he loses to the Colts, loses to Tennessee, beats the Vikings because the Vikings don't have a good defense. So I think that game turns into a shootout. And I even despite, I, I, I don't think, I think Sam Darnold's better than Malik Willis, but I do love the Packers' weapons. Jaden Reed had a great game. Uh, Josh Jacobs looked good in his first game as a Packer. So I do think the Packers can win at least one game with Malik Willis. But if he starts the next three games and Jordan Love comes back against the Rams, I think they lose that game. That puts them out of the playoff picture. So I am worried about the Packers.